Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm gonna do my first attempt at a duping the vibes video. This was heavily inspired by Lauren May Beauty. She has a series where she does this with like new palettes. She shops her stash and goes through her collection and finds singles, palettes, and things that inspire or remind her of the vibes of certain palettes that have come out that are new that she wants to stop herself from buying. And I thought of this idea, like it really hit me full force when I saw the release of the Clarity Cosmetics So Mermazing palette. This was a palette that like looked amazing in like the pans and in swatches, but like going down to the nitty gritty, I thought it was too expensive. It's $48 for the palette and it's also sold out. So I thought this would be a great way to go through, um, go through all my eyeshadow palettes because I do have over a hundred eyeshadow palettes. I and I need to make better use of that collection, right? So if you guys like this video, we may make it a little bit more of a trend or a series here on my channel with new palettes that come out. So disclaimer, this is not gonna be like a one for one exact dupe of the palette that I'm putting together. I literally just went through my collection and pulled out four palettes that in general have the same vibe, have kind of similar shades, but like they kind of give me the same feeling. And now that I've gone through and I found where I can find similar shades in my collection, I feel better about not picking up the actual palette. Also because I saw some reviews of the palette and apparently the mattes are like really, really patchy and trash and really the only good parts are the shimmers. So I'm kind of glad I didn't pick it up. So let's first take a good look at the palette itself. So this is the So Mermazing palette, it retails for $48 from Clarity Cosmetics. These swatches look photoshopped as all hell <laughs> because they probably are. Um, but what I really wanted to base this off of and shot my stash with were these swatches. These look like actual swatches in like daylight, which is what I'm kind of basing this off of. So we've got some pastels and it says that these are supposed to be like duochrome or multi, I think they're duochrome, not multi-chromes. Um, but to be quite honest, you don't see that really good in the, um, in the pictures. And then in the video of the swatches that they show, uh, they're not like super like exact shifts, you know, they are, they look kind of more like just pretty, pretty shimmers. I mean, they get kind of like darker. I guess what I'm saying is in my opinion, they don't look as multi-chrome or as duochrome as I kind of would have expected. They look like they go from a light version of that same shade to like just like a deeper version of that same shade. Anyway, keeping that all in mind, here are the palettes that first came to my brain. And the first is the Kylie Cosmetics Calm Before the Storm palette, which is just has all of these beautiful pastel shades. So of course I picked this for like those really pastel matte shades that you would see in the Mermazing palette. Um, so let me go ahead and swatch these out. I am gonna try and swatch all of these shades where you can see them on my arm. So let's see how good of a job I do with that because I'm not really that great <laughs> at swatching. Okay, so here's that palette swatched out. I swatched the mattes and their corresponding shimmers right next to each other so you can kind of get an idea of how they would pair up, like actually on the eye. Uh, but this just really fills in those boxes of just like nice pastels, pretty shimmers. It's not exactly the same, but like this is definitely for me like the same vibe that I was getting from that palette. The next palette that I thought of when going through my collection was technically it's a bunch of singles, but it came together in a palette. This is the Divina collab with Angelica Neekfist. And I was specifically thinking of like these two shimmers right up here. So as you can see, the whole palette itself isn't really like pastel, but these two shimmer shades, I want to swatch out for you guys because they, those were giving me vibes of the Summer Amazing palette. All right, and I hope you can see it on camera, but like those just look so pretty together with the rest of these shades and it just ties in so well. And I think it gives another like extra punch of sparkle to like this kind of fantasy vibe palette I'm putting together. These are so pretty like all over the lid or specifically as like an inner corner highlight, which is kind of how I was envisioning these working in with the rest of the shades. Davina is like a beautiful eyeshadow formula and they really do have a beautiful like matte formula, shimmer formula. I don't know if they specifically make duochromes. I think they do, but to be honest, I haven't placed an order with Davina since I think I bought this palette. So I need to go back and check out and see what they currently have in their catalog. All right, next, this is a palette that my friend gave me as a gift. This is the Jouer Ultra Foil Eyeshadow Palette. And I am specifically thinking of a couple of these foils. Now I didn't have anything exactly like pastel duochrome, the kind of way that they did, but I thought I could substitute it in with a couple of shimmers. And I'm specifically thinking of this bright white, this nice light pink, and this green right here. So let me swatch those. Oh yeah. Those are just so pretty. So let's get those swatched out on the arm. 
So here are those shades with the rest of the shades and really I'm getting like the vibe now. Like it's, it's all coming together. I feel like I've got like the essence of all the shades that I was like lusting over in the Mermazing palette here. And once we're done with the palettes, I'm gonna swatch these nicer on my arm and take a picture so you guys can see it all together. So yeah, I've mainly been using this palette as a topper palette. I'm actually wearing the pink shade all over my lid today. They're gorgeous. They are gorgeous shades. Um, but I need to branch out and start using this more like with crease shades and everything because really I've only been using this as a topper palette when really you can use these shades anywhere you want to use these shades. And I've been using a lot of Natasha Denona shimmers in my crease and they've been really, really pretty. But I want to branch out and do more looks. Um, and thinking about how this reminds me of them are amazing, I kind of want to lean towards like this and bring this out a lot more. So one palette left. And the last palette, just a couple of shades that brought me back to like the pinky tone specifically in the palette. This is from Ciate London, and this is the Astro Lights Jeweled palette. Now I'm thinking specifically of like this purpley pink shade and this shade right over here, because I know that there were some pink shades in the palette that I feel like I didn't get just the right shimmer for. These are a little dark. If anything, I kind of wish like it was just a little bit of a lighter shimmer, but I feel like it rounds out the pinks quite nicely. So here are those shades with the rest of the swatched out shades. All right, and here I will throw in pictures and videos of some better swatches, kind of laid out more in like an actual palette layout so you can get a better idea of what I'm going for. So there we have it. That is everything that I will be using to dupe the vibes of the Clarity Cosmetics Mermazing palette. Let me know down below what you thought of my first attempt to dupe the vibes of the palette and if you liked the video and if you want to see me do those with any other new palettes released recently. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye!